Weaving it together for reading. Chapter 1 Artist. Reading 1 Frida Kahlo Triumph over Tragedy. Independence, rebelliousness, self assurance. These are traits shared by many famous people. They are found particularly among artists and certainly in Frida Kahlo, who belonged to the first generation of famous North American women artists. Even as a child, Mexico's best-known woman painter exhibited an independent, rebellious spirit and lack of restraint that often got her into trouble. She preferred to run, jump, and skip instead of walk, and she found it difficult to control herself, even in church, where she giggled and teased her younger sister. At the age of six, however, Frida's life changed dramatically. She got polio and was confined to her bed for nine months. The disease left Frida right uh, leg shorter and thinner than her left, and when she had recovered enough to return to school, she walked with a limb. She was often teased by her playmates, and although that was emotionally painful for her, she compensated by being outgoing and gain a reputation as a character. Her father encouraged her to play sports to strengthen her leg, and eventually she was able to walk quite well. Frida's father, Guillermo, a professional photographer and a major painter, was a great influence in her life. In 1922, at the age of 15, Frida was enrolled at a national preparatory school in Mexico City, which was near her hometown of Coyoacan. This was the beginning of the pre-revolutionary period in Mexico. And the country was experiencing a time of cultural rebirth as well as reform. There was a strong spirit of nationalism and pride in Mexico's heritage. Frida identified with the revolution intellectually, emotionally, and spiritually. After a few months at the school, Frida adopted a radical new look. Although her father, whom she adored, was European, Frida rejected her European clothes in favor of overalls. She cut her thick black hair short like a boy's and rode around Koyoikon on a bicycle, shocking everyone. She even changed her birth date from 1907 to 1910 to show her sympathy with the Mexican Revolution and to identify herself with the beginnings of modern Mexico. Frida thrived on intellectual, social, and cultural stimulation at school. She made friends easily and quickly became part of the notorious Cachucha, a group of seven boys and two girls, intelligent yet rebellious students who named themselves after the caps won at school. Their keen minds were matched only by their contempt for authority and capacity for trouble. Frida's natural independence and mischievous nature fit in right, fit right in. She cut classes and joined in their escapades. One day, the Kachucha let a donkey loose in the classroom. 
Another time, one of the Kachucha set off fireworks next to a dog, who ran wildly through the school, creating chaos. Frida was even expelled from school once, but managed to regain entrance by boldly appealing to the Minister of Education. Meanwhile, Frida was developing a strong sense of self-assurance and belief in herself. She saw an attitude for science and intended to go on to medical school and become a doctor. Although she didn't become a physician, her studies in biology and physiology later influenced her work. In many of her paintings, hearts, glands, and other organs are displayed, both inside and outside the body. A turning point occurred in Frida's life in September 1925 when she was involved in a near fatal accident. The bus in which she was riding home after school collided with a trolley car. The impact caused a middle rail to break loose, piercing Frida's entire body with the steel rod. The Red Cross doctors who arrived and examined the victims separated the, the injured from the dying, giving the, inj the injured first priority. They took one look at Frida and put her with the hopeless cases. The doctor eventually treated Frida and miraculously she survived. She suffered a broken spine, collarbone and pelvis, and two broken ribs. Her right leg was broken in eleven places, and her right foot was crushed. Her left shoulder was dis dislocated. From that point on, Frida Kahlo would never live a day without pain. Although Frida recovered enough to lead a fairly normal life, the accident had severe psychological and physical consequences. She had to abandon her plans to become a doctor, and she had to recognize that she would be a near invalid for the rest of her life. Her slowly healing body kept her in bed for months, and it was during this time that Frida began to paint. She read every book on art she could get her hands on. Exactly one year after her accident, she produced her first painting, a self-portrait dedicated to her school boyfriend, the leader of the Kachucha. Some artists look to nature or society for their inspiration. But Frida Kahlo looked inward. After her crippling accident, Frida depicted her pain in haunting, dream-like self-portraits. Most of her 200 paintings explore her vision of herself. In the Broken Column 1944, her body is open to the correct column in place of her spine. In the body deer, 1946, a small deer with Frida's head and a body pierced with arrows runs through the wood. In 1929, Frida married the celebrated Mexican artist Diego Rivera. It would be an emotionally turbulent marriage, however, with a divorce in 19. 39, and remarriage in 1940. Diego made no secret of his infidelities and caused Frida much pain. Although his devotion and admiration for her as an artist never diminished, Diego's betrayal of Frida's devotion inflicted great injury on her as is revealed in a series of paintings. 
depicting their relationship. I have suffered two accidents in my life, she wrote, one in which a streetcar ran over me, the other is Diego. Frida's condition required many operations to try to strengthen her spine and repair her food, but with each one, her condition seemed to worsen. Often she painted in bed with an easel. Her mother had designed for her. Her health seriously declined when she was in her forties, but Frida always kept her lively spirit. By then, she was in internationally known when a Mexican gallery wanted to have a major exhibition of her work, she arranged to have her elaborately decorated. For Postebet hurried into the gallery so that she could receive people. Frida died in July 1954 in the same room of the bright blue house in which she had been born. She left her work as her legacy, to be sure. But equally inspirational is her life story and the fact that by transforming pain into brilliant art, Frida Kahlo triumphed over misfortune. So that is all about Frida Kahlo. So I hope you enjoy this story of a famous artist. Okay, thank you everyone for listening to this reading article. Please subscribe if you like it. See you later. See you next video.